Hello viewers, I am Tanmay Datta from Engineers Educare Coaching Center. Today we are going to discuss about how to prepare for electrical engineering viva or interview. So basically the interviewer or the viva taker, he will ask you the questions according to what job you are applying for and what is the position you are applying for and what is the company you are applying for. So you know that there are basically three different types of companies in the field of electrical engineering. So these are distribution, transmission and generation. For generation company, you will require the skill set for a engineer or for a technical person. But for a distribution field, your job will be basically a manager, managerial job. So there you no need very much of technical knowledge better than managerial knowledge or managerial skills, your leader, leadership qualities and etc. etc. This will be mainly asked in distribution company jobs. And in transmission jobs, you also need technical knowledge and also your interpersonal qualities. But in transmission, you no need to directly go with or talk with the customers. So basically your technical knowledge will be preferred most. So uh, before going into details, let me thank my friends who helped me in making this video. Uh, they are basically working in various fields of engineering. So let me first thank Mr. Tomnia Gay, who is working as an assistant engineer in PowerGit, and also Mr. Punyo TBI, who is also working as an assistant engineer in PowerGit. And both of them were selected in campus drive of PowerGit. So we will discuss about the campus questions and also the field question or the direct interviews. So I would like to thank also Ms. Ananya Das, who is working as a junior engineer in IOCL. And then Joybrata Das, who is working as an assistant engineer in oil. Then Hansaras Boro, who is working as an assistant manager in ASCB. And then Rafiq Ali, who is also working. So let me focus on what are the subjects and what are the points you need to prepare before going to an interview. Okay. If, if you are finally a student or you are going to appear any interview in PSUs and other sectors, your first area of the interest should be your project. Your project should be very clear or you have the very fair knowledge about your, what you have done in your project. Because questions will always be asked from your project in uh, campus interviews as well as in the job interviews after clearing the written and all okay. for any kind of company so your first subject which have to you have to always look after is power system okay in power system uh, in power system they ask various questions on substations also and also and in switch gear and protection it also comes under the power system system uh, power system subject okay so in power system they ask lot question about ferranti effect skin effect what are the advantage of long distance transmission line short distance transmission line and what are the faults various faults that occurs in a power system and various questions on the control panel of a power system or in a substation, what are the equipment in a substation are and what is a PT, what is a CT. These kind of questions basically they asked in an interview from power system. Okay. And if you have ever been through any uh, summer training or summer internship prog programs in your BTEC or in your diploma life, then you have to be very careful about the subject matter which you have been taught. Okay, because questions will be generally asked from your experiences, that is in experience in the field of the training and they are, from there question will definitely be asked. The next subject which you need to focus is electrical machines. Questions will definitely be asked from electrical machines. Generally there are questions like why single phase induction motor is not self-starting and how capacitor start, capacitor and motor works. See, that kind of question will be definitely asked. And the question will be, if you have done the project on any machine, then it, the concept should be very clear. Then comes elec basic electrical questions. Actually, from basic electrical questions, 
they will ask about the power what is the unit of power what is the unit of work what is the unit of energy some basic question which you definitely know but in the time of interview you get confused what is the form or what is the full form of something and one question always they ask about the power factor or power factor improvement how to improve the power factor and what why the power factor practical power factor is not one or not unity so always you need to focus on that sectors and the basic electrical engineering which you have all all engineers they learn from basic electrical engineering so you have to focus that subject too so if you are not a fresh graduate or you are not appearing a campus interview or you have some experience so questions will be asked from your experience you have to be you have to have the knowledge or the concept which you have learned or which you have applied in your field so your experience should be explored or you should have basic knowledge about how to do the works and how you have performed all the works so these questions will definitely be asked so if you are applying for a distribution job interview so there this hobbies will definitely be asked okay so if you have said anything about a hobby then you must have definite knowledge about the that hobby that particular hobby okay don't bluff that i know something or i have this hobby if you don't know what is the depth knowledge or how it is being performed if you are applying for a psu any psu they will give you a bonus question and actually it is like a full toss ball if you cannot hit it for a six then it is your loss and this question is actually they will tell you tell me about yourself you have to frame about yourself your weaknesses and strengths for around two minutes okay so in that question you have to express what you are actually don't bluff there okay so that question if you can perform well that will make definite uh, expression about yourself to the interviewer so they also asked question about the circuit diagrams actually they want to know your concept about how circuits work actually they will draw some circuit and you have to explain the circuit how when uh, some circuit switches will be closed and how this circuit will be worked and everything related to circuits will be asked so basically you have to basic knowledge of the basic electrical engineering and from that basic electrical engineering you have to connect with the circuit diagrams okay also the time when you forget something or you cannot explain through words then you have the opportunity to you can directly draw something and you can explain it by drawing okay and they will not mind drawing anything by not explaining okay so if you you are going to appear any kind of interview the first thing you have to take care that you have to know about your hometown or your home district and or your home state because every interviewer they are very much interested uh, in knowing what you know about your personal area okay so they will definitely ask question uh, about what is the dc of your oh, sorry so they will uh, ask question about who is the dc of your district or like who is the mla of your district or oh, sorry of your legis of your legislative assembly okay so various questions can be asked on your district or in your area so you have to be very much cautious about your area okay now i believe that after watching this video you have a rough idea about what are the things you need to focus before an interview okay the topics which we have discussed here mainly focused on the electrical engineering field but the topics related to your hobbies your hometown or your strength and weaknesses these questions basically comes in any kind of interview no matter you are paying for an engineering job or any other field last but not the least i would like to thank team ecc for helping me to grow in my field and helping me to crack a pdcl interview which landed me a job in 
assistant manager in Assam Electrical Grid Corporation Limited. I would also like to thank them for help me making this video. If you like this video, then please do like, share and subscribe and share with your friends, your family and your electrical engineering friends, other engineering friends and do visit our website and our Facebook page for more information. Thank you very much.